For 20 years, it's been the way to get your message across. The simple text. Yet when it comes to communicating, new apps and instant messaging mean we've now got a lot more choice. So whether it's on your BlackBerry or your iPhone, of course, you can get instant messaging. But then there are services like WhatsApp, where you can post videos or photos or even send those simple messages. And then you've got something like Snapchat, where you can also share what you've been up to, but your friends can only see it for a limited time. Back in 2010, we sent 128 billion texts and just 25 billion instant messages. Since then, we've been sending more and more of both. But last year, for the first time, the number of texts fell to 145 billion, while instant messages jumped up to 160 billion. When so many mobile packages give you normal texts for free, well, what's the point? There are so many free text messaging, but it is free to do on WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger or Snapchat. And it's it. it gives you so many more different ways to do things. Yeah, you know, emojis are really important as a new way of communication. Snapchat is massive. You know, I talk, talk to teenagers who send and open 60,000 Snapchats. And it's a completely different way of talking. It's not, no longer just words. It's about pictures and, and emotions. Despite the figures, experts believe that the real money is still in traditional texts. Good news for the phone companies. They will be doing globally um, about £60 billion in revenues from text messaging at a very attractive margin. Um, that will represent about 30% of all the messages sent over mobile phones. And if you compare that to the instant messaging service providers, um, they will generate about £1.2 billion. Um, but generate, but deliver about 70% of the messages. So text messaging doesn't have the volume, but it has the value. The number of humble texts we send is again expected to fall this year. But with the number of instant messages around the world predicted to hit 50 billion a day, there'll be plenty to keep our digits busy. Rhiannon Mills, Sky News.